Hi guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So in this one, I'm gonna be building a hunt class destroyer. This was actually an escort destroyer during World War II, used by the Royal Navy, uh, but also got kind of sold around the world after World War II, there was a lot of them. There's in fact, uh, so many of these built, there's actually 86 of these ships built, uh, which is absolutely crazy. So it was an escort destroyer, used to escort uh, convoys from the Mediterranean and also the Atlantic. Um, so like always guys, I'm going to be talking you guys through what I'm actually doing, how I'm building the ship, um, and things like that. So the whole kind of, well the hull for this one was quite easy, starting with the shape, always starting with the front of the ship because that's usually the most difficult part to get right and once you get it right it's fine. Um, I'm using World Edit there just to flip the whole thing over as well. Um, so that's onto there. This one's got a kind of low, lower deck and then the front of it is slightly upper as well. So getting that in there before I actually finish off bits of detail. Then going in with my slabs and stairs. Um, I've been doing this quite a lot on the ships and actually, you know, it's a real pain to do <laughs> because it takes you absolutely ages to get it done. But um, the actual finished product just looks so much better and smoother um, that I just think, you know, it's worth doing, it's worth putting in these days uh, and actually kind of tweaking those. Um, but there we go, putting in all of the iron bars now, we've got those two levels, I decided to go with like, quite a smooth uh, kind of look to where it's doing the transition there. Um, I think it's actually sharper in the real ship, it just didn't look quite right if I did it slightly sharper, uh, so I'm going to change that. Coming around to the front part of it now, having a look at where all the superstructures are on the ship. Um, so I haven't put in the gun yet, but we are going to put that in in a bit. What I wanted to do is just get the guard around it sorted so I can kind of figure out where the main bridge part of the ship is actually going uh, and then put on these sides. So similar to the flower class corvette, uh, this one has, or in this case I use some of the uh, fences and fence gates on the side to kind of have that connection from this bit that sticks out from the bridge, um, the upper part of the bridge, and um, then get supported on the side of the ship. Um, I spent quite a lot of time trying to figure out the best way to do this kind of antenna array, uh, this kind of radar array, um, and actually I'm pretty happy with the design that I came up with in the end, I think it looks pretty good. Getting onto the gun, of course, always got to have a good gun, so I played around with a couple of different designs for this one. Um, it's actually got two cannons and it's quite a simple looking design, um, and actually I ended up using this same design. Uh, on the HMS Unicorn aircraft carrier as well, exact same design uh, actually that I've got here, ended up using it somewhere else which is always quite cool. Um, but there we go, putting in extra bits of details and also putting in the main mast, the main antenna, the kind of full communications array. Um, this kind of sits in quite a cool place I thought, um, but in front of that and between that and the bridge I could not figure out what was here. Um, all of the pictures that I could get of, of the actual ship were like, you know, at the front of it or on bits of the side, but I couldn't actually figure out what was in between and I couldn't get a high enough resolution picture, so I ended up just putting in some boxes. If you guys find out what it is, let me know so I can update the design, it'd be really cool. Um, right behind here, uh, right behind the smokestack, we actually have an anti-aircraft gun. Um, and again, I stole this design and whacked it on HMS Unicorn, so this is actually where I ended up making it. Um, I was pretty happy with that, that kind of anti-aircraft um, gun design, I think it looks pretty good. There's a little signal, oh not really signal, a, a um, searchlight, there we go, get there eventually, searchlight at the back there. And then right at the back there's actually two guns, there's two sets of guns, there's this raised area where we've got the guns, uh, one of the sets of guns, so I've just copy and pasted it directly from the back kind of part of it. And then we've also got another one at the back, so most of the armament on this escort destroyer is actually at the back. It's also got quite a few depth charges, so I've put in some depth charge launchers right at the back on there because of course U-boats are always, and during World War II, were always trying to attack convoys constantly, that was that was part of their doctrine, um, so it needed depth charge charges in case they go underwater and they do find them and they can actually blow them up uh, from there. Um, but yeah, putting in some of the smaller boats, um, I ended up doing two different designs for the bigger boats, um, just to keep it a little bit different. Um, and try and put in a little bit of variation. And then coming from the front, I actually put in, similar to the, the flower class Corvette, actually having this all linked up. So using iron bars to link it up, but actually using World Edit to do the line kind of tools that, you know, without that kind of, uh, that thing, I think I've really struggled to get these to look correct. Um, but again, doing the same on the back as well, uh, and actually linking that all up. 
But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it actually turned out. It's, you know, World War II Destroyer. I think it's my first World War II Destroyer as well. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, a bit of history there for you guys as well. You know, really interesting design. So um, yeah, guys, let me know as always what you think of the design, what you think of the ship, and you know, if there's anything I can improve. If there's other ships that you guys want to see me build, and as always guys, I'm always going to be you know, putting a tutorial together um, shortly. Some of them take quite a long time, it depends on the size of them and the complexity um, you know, for me to try and dig it out and figure out what's going on. And of course, pictures are always the most difficult thing to get of the older ships, which is actually what I kind of struggled with with this one. I had quite a few shots of different places, but uh, overall pretty good. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, comment, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.